Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Raju Dapur from uh, World of Paintings. So today I've taken a different uh, subject. You can call it a subject, but different uh, photo reference. Although there are different uh, perspectives to drawing or even painting. So the painting or the re reference, what I've taken is an aerial view. When you look at uh, the sea beach or ocean beach from top, from high enough. So it's from a different perspective. You can, if you count in terms of perspective, it goes under maybe three point perspective because uh, both the sides you have perspective, but actually you are looking from top. So you can actually get the point either on top or point downwards. So how do I actually recognize? Because if I'm looking from uh, top, the sea beach is just flat, correct? There are no buildings, anything. There are no structures, but that's uh, for that reason, there is a small boat uh boat again if you look at it from top it's just one shape but uh, mainly uh the other things which are attached to boat the sail so that is the one which is going to go with three point perspective it is just from stop so you just have to uh, understand that perspective so the second thing is if i just leave it as is then what happens is it just looks like uh, a sticker stuck onto that uh, painting or the background that's where uh, you need to think in terms of highlights and shadows this is what i always talk about so here what i've done is a little bit of shadow light comes from somewhere even you can see the water waves little bit of shadow i've put not not too much uh, of a shadow because i'm not standing just straight in front of it it's an aerial uh, uh, view so that's where that shadow comes into picture i could have used uh, for the shadow the darker version of uh, blue itself but it was not sharp enough so that's the reason i went ahead with the black color pencil very light touch so that you don't actually spoil uh, the entire painting itself so one more thing to remember is i've gone uh, with uh, brown color paper again this is 200 gsm little bit texture uh, the reason behind that is again you, you might uh, want to argue with this why would why why not white paper maybe why not blue paper if blue paper then this part would have been reduced maybe i think if it was white paper then anyhow i had to cover with different colors but uh, as far as i can see the main thing my just my interest is here anyhow i have to cover with blue although i didn't need to use uh, the dark blue here just for the sake of edge i've used if not what happens is i'll consider that as uh, horizon so it's not horizon it's an aerial view so keeping that in mind i've just left here a little bit of brown and then added brown with wa white but it's not white it's a different color very light brown or yellowish brown color so here as you can see because of the texture the way i've applied even the dot dots the texture is left out it still looks like sand so main thing is just concentrate on a uh, little bit texture paper because that's where uh, i would uh, go with don't take uh, very smooth paper first of all application is very difficult mainly layers so a little bit rough, rough paper if you get rough paper and then you can actually get that uh, uh, sand texture so that should be the main thing then after that concentrate on uh, the waves that i put i tried myself uh, using two or three layers but uh, at the end i still felt that that uh, white was not bright enough so i had to use a uh, little bit of uh, acrylic color just on the edges so i can actually pull or like use the dry brush uh, technique so that actually made it a little bit uh, uh, look more uh, brighter than uh, before and then it's just uh, everything about uh, perspective so um, if you already have uh, gathered all of your materials so let's get started
Thank you.